Hey, it's Peach Doom, man. For, for timing purposes, man, I was really hoping that we'd finish up this fight last episode. We did not. It just, it, it was running too long. Oh, damn, quick attack, huh? All right, bring out Toaster. Um, but it, it just didn't. That's not how it worked out. Um, you may or may not uh, know, you know, if you're just coming in here, um, that I'm going to have to change the way I do videos soon. And so, actually, I'm going to be taking a break from Pokemon XD very soon. After this episode and the next episode is when I'm going to be taking my break. So my hope is that between this episode and next episode, I'm going to be able to finish the next area of Mount Battle. But that's going to require us to be pretty lucky, actually, actually now. Because not only do we have to finish this fight, then we're going to have to ideally get through, like, half of the next area in Mount Battle. If we want to accomplish that. I'm just glad this guy has stopped using Dizzy Punch. I mean, really? You're going to use Shockwave against that? I won't complain, but you're kind of dumb. Thunder Shock. Thunder, Thunder. That way, when we come back to XD, then it's just like, okay, we're going to Phoenix City. You know what I mean? It's it's much clearer cut. And then, we, you know, we don't have to start, st you know, stop in the middle of this training session. What do you want to learn? Cotton Spore? That can be a useful move, but I don't think it's any more useful than anything else you have here. I like having two different types of attacks, and I like your Heal Bell and your Thunder Wave, so we're not going to get it. Stop learning Cotton Spore? Yeah, no, don't learn co Cotton Spore. Stop wasting my time, Energy Man! Alright, we just got to take this thing out now. Alright. Alright, Pizza, I'll go ahead and burn it for you. Hopefully we can take it out quick. It looks like it'll only take a couple turns. Dizzy Punch, huh? Hmm. Ouch. Well, that hurt. You hit my nose and changed my voice. And now it's back! Ha! Jeez. Yeah, this... You know, the Thundershock and the Ember is just not cutting it anymore. It takes so long for these guys to learn the good stuff. I wish I could use my Poke Coupons to get it, but they're so expensive. Unless I really, really want to grind Mount Battle off camera. And hey, maybe I will. Uh, just for those points. Just for those moves. Moves? What was that? Hmm, you are decent. Gee, thanks. I'm decent. Here are the Poke Coupons for Area 3. Well, that was an amusing battle. I hope you'll go into the tougher areas. Hey, that's the plan, babe. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Toaster and Ridley are up next. My guys are level 27 now, so they should be able to match these people in level. Alrighty. Congratulations, you cleared Area 3. Please accept this commemorative gift. TM34. I forgot to get TMs for doing these, too. Is it Shockwave? Because that girl kept using Shockwave? That'd be awesome. Oh, it is. Dude! We've got our new move for uh, Energy Man! Alrighty. Getting rid of Thunder Shock for Shockwave. I mean, honestly, we're only going to keep it until we learn Thunderbolt, but that's still okay. I mean, I don't have any problem using, um, just, like, absolutely splurging my TMs on these six. Because I'm already planning on these six being my team up until I get the Lugia at the end. Uh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't realize I was thinking. Um, and the Lugia comes with four moves, for the most part, that I like anyway. Oh my god, Ah. Oh! It's all lava -y in here. I forgot about that because it's all red and hurts my eyes. Jesus. This is where Area 4 begins. Are you ready? I think so. I, I was, from what I remember reading up really quickly, you, your guys are, have, have, the, have the same level Pokemon, right? They're still like level 27. They're not anything crazy, right? I mean, you still got a tentacle. What kind of what kind of tentacle is is not a tentacle yet by that time, you know? You know what I'm saying? I'm right, right? Please tell me I'm right. <laughs> all right. Uh, oh yeah, they're around that area. Well, what are we going to do here? Why don't we... Bite Tentacool and dig up Rhyhorn. Bubble Beam, I was scared of that. Both these guys are good against uh, Toaster. Yeah, I'm worried about that. Bite it, Toaster! Alright, Pizza, let's see what Jellyfish tastes like. Oh, it's okay. I guess. Scary face. Ooga booga booga. It's a jack o' lantern face. Okay, now why don't you bite the Rhyhorn? Because I don't think Ridley's gonna be able to kill that thing in one hit. 
Oh god, no! It's gonna take a while to kill these Pokemon! It'd be better to have Bowser and Andrew Man! Oh boy. Well. Whoa! Holy shit! What? No kidding, he flinched! He's probably just thinking, what the hell just happened to me? Ah! <laughs> oh my god! I was not expecting the bite to do that much damage. You know, sometimes it comes in handy with the bite being a special move. <laughs> oh god, Toaster, you just gotta survive. You just gotta survive, man. Kill that Rhyhorn. Yeah! I don't understand how I got bitten to death. <laughs> okay, quick attack and bite. Come on, Toaster! Just blast it! Blast it with charging! Yes! Toaster's the man! <laughs> oh, man. Oh, yes! Wait! You are strong! Thank you! Gee, if you're that strong, you don't need any training. I want some of the guys to evolve and stuff. Are you good at battling against the Psychic type? Well, considering I got two Pokemon with Bite here, if you're telling me you're using Psychic types, I think you're right screwed. Especially if you only got one of them. Jesus. Is this supposed to be a hard fight? Because it's going to be a not hard fight. Alright. I mean, I'm pretty sure this is going to be like a one round battle. Bite. Bite. I'm wearing black glasses. Rah! And boom goes the dynamite. <laughs> but soft, that was the fastest fight I've ever been in. <laughs> well, that takes care of that. What were you trying to accomplish? You knew how to handle psychic Pokemon. Yeah, you think? Well, that saved us some time. Did you learn something about battling the psychic type? Yes, bite destroys them. People who are psychic hate getting bitten. It's really great that you came to train here, but I won't go easy on you. They've all been female so far. Chaser faux pas. Faux pas, faux pas, a louder than a love disc. Faux pas, faux pas, what are we gonna do? Hey. Oh, man. Uh, I'm just thinking we go for bites, but who against? Perhaps Love Disc so it doesn't get any water moves, even though uh, Love Discs are not that scary. Agility! That's the one thing that Love Discs have for them, is that they're pretty fast. But if you're already the fastest Pokemon, why the hell do you need to use Agility? I just really wanted to make sure I was the fastest Pokemon! I guess, I, I guess Love Discs are Irish now! <laughs> Jeez. Top of the morning! Okay, um, why don't we just quick attack and, I don't know, a poison thing. Why not? Watch how fast I am, pizza. I can quickly take out hot-shaped fish Pokemon. Well, great. The, the girl got to buff her Pokemon before they died. Good for her. All right. Swagger? I really don't care about Swagger. Nope, I really don't. Yeah, no swagger. No swag for you, Ridley. Poison Fang. Alright, I don't know why I'm using this move, but it's, it's what you say. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, we can poison. See, look at that. Plus, the fangs are badly poisoned, which is so awesome. Ah! Alright. Uh, let's just bite it to death now. Bite. Man, so far, these fights have been easier than the ones in the last area. I thought we weren't going to have enough time to do this area between this episode and next episode, but now it looks like we could. It looks, it looks very well like we could have enough time. Which is good, because I was probably going to stretch the episodes to make sure we had enough time. <laughs> Alright, I'm just going to keep these two at the front of the party until they're level 28. I wish you wouldn't have been so rough with me. You said you weren't going to hold back, so I didn't either. Training battles are serious with no restraint. That's why they're so good. Yeah. Yeah. All right. 
Youngster, did you know Area 4 is a garden of beauties? <laughs> okay, so they are doing like a Celadon City thing here. Where all the trainers are female. And then the twist is that like there's one guy or even the area leader's a guy, right? Or are we not going to do that? I don't care either way. Either way, we're gonna win. We got a Corsola and Quillfish. In my opinion, Quillfish is the most forgettable Pokemon there is. Uh, for one thing, it doesn't have any, like, pre-evolutions or evolutions. It's a standalone. And, you know, usually when you think of standalones, you think of things that, you know, become pretty strong, you know? Um, and even if they don't become really strong, you know, things like Lapras and Snorlax, which, which has a pre-evolution now, um, they're at least things that are really memorable in design, like Dunsparce and Farfetch. You just won't forget about them because it's like, oh yeah, it's the really weird looking snake thing in the, in the, the, the bird with a stick. Quillfish is a standalone Pokemon that's just a real life fish. He has, like, nothing that makes him different from uh, a, a real, like, a pufferfish. It's just like, oh, yeah, there's a Pokemon that's literally a pufferfish. And that's it. So, I mean, I don't know, in my mind, Quillfish is, like, the most forgettable Pokemon. When I'm thinking about, like, Pokemon. And, well, it's funny, it used to be that way, that Quillfish was always the Pokemon I forget. But then that became the joke. So now I never forget about Quillfish, because he was the Pokemon I always forgot about. Funny how that works. Um, Let's bite Beldum. I mean, I guess Toaster might as well Ember it. All Beldums can learn is take down, unless you got that special Beldum from Omega. Jeez, it's like they, they, they didn't know what to do for his hurt animation. They're just like, hey, just let the physics go crazy and let it freak the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, revenge? But I didn't hit you even. You're getting revenge for your friend? Revenge is a dark type move, isn't it? I used to, or, or is it fighting type? It can't be fighting. Didn't it say? Or did it say it was super effective? I don't know. I wasn't paying enough attention. Apparently, it's just the fucking quillfish. Why should I pay attention to him? This fight's actually taking a while. Corsolas are so defensive. My word, that's a good pin missile. I think this is before Skill Link was an ability, so I don't think it has Skill Link. I thought Skill Link was introduced in 4th Gen. Cause I, yeah, because 3rd Gen introduced abilities, and I think 4th Gen introduced the ability Skill Link. When I saw that, I was like, whoa, that's so good! I want that on my shoulder! So that my Cloyster can use Spike Cannon, and it'll actually be uh, an effective move each time. Actually, it'd be really cool. I don't know if you can do it. If you get something with Rock Blast and Skill Link, that'd be pretty neat. Alright. Oh, darn, darn, darn! Alright. We have time for one or two more battles here, which is good. We need to do at least one more. You've worn me out. You've ruined my beautiful look, too. Get out of here before I whack you with my purse. Alright, what we got here? I've heard that someone has the same combination of Pokemon as my team. Have you seen him or her? I'm trying to remember. She, like, references somebody with her team. Uh, Beauty Neva. Uh, someone who uses a Chime... Oh, yeah! James! This is back when James' main Pokemon were Cacnea and Chimico. So it's a reference to James from Pokemon the anime. Isn't that cool? They do so much anime reference in the games. <laughs> like Pikachu's being everywhere. <laughs> All right, bye. All right, take this, Chimico. Ah! All right, one more bite. I'll take that out. This is gonna be just like a two-turn fight. Takedown. I'm trying to imagine a Chimico using takedown. I mean, that didn't look like a very forceful flight. It just kind of floated towards me. Does it make like a ding sound with its head when it hits? It's like ding. Bam! Let's say that doesn't destroy Cacnea next turn. Well, yeah, but it destroyed it, so. Alright, time to finish off Chimico. Bite! Kill it! Well, we can definitely get at least one more fight in, because that one was really short. Which is perfect. We're going to have enough time next episode to finish off Mount Battle um, before we take our big break. Um... I'm not sure how long it's going to be. It's just going to be a few, uh, like a couple weeks, I think, as Mass Effect 3 finishes. 
I don't exactly remember how many episodes the Mass Effect 3 stuff is. I can probably figure it out really quick if I really think about it. Uh, yeah, I think it's going to be less than two weeks. That's as, as well as I can think right now. Chimico and Cackney are just so cute. I just adore them. Did you guys level up? I don't remember. Yeah, you're both 28, so let's switch out. Jimmy Ann, what do you got for us? Hyper Potion. Damn, good find. Let's go with Jimmy Ann and Bowser. Alrighty. My Pokemon is darling. Look, look. Okay, is it just one Pokemon? It says, She said is, so it's probably just one Pokemon. What's your darling Pokemon? A Grimer. You know what? Grimers have a really cute smile. I am not going to disagree with the notion that a person can find a Grimer cute. I, I think that's supposed to be a joke, but I could see it. It's got such a squishy, happy face. Return. Ma! Ah! Brain Blast! All right. Water Pulse! Bah! All right. One more turn. One more turn. We gotta defeat Grimer. All righty. Uh... If we have extra time at the end of next episode, we'll purify those three. Otherwise, we'll save it for next time. My poor Grimer! Yeah, I'm sorry. It was just we're in a fight and everything. Even fell smelly Pokemon can be little darlings. Please come visit again. Alrighty, I'm gonna see you guys in the next episode for finishing our Mount Battle training. See you then!